it looks like if this is true that we have uh, we have a guy who I used to talk to on old radio shows. His name is the Ed, and if it's who I think it is, he's one of my favorite regular callers. Is this the Ed from Las Vegas? It's Dave. Oh, Hello, it Dave. is. Hello? It's the Ed. What's happening, the Ed? How are you? Hey, how you doing? I ain't talking to you in a long, long time. No, last we talked, you know, you were, uh, you, you, you had just, if I remember correctly, uh, let's see, you were, you're, you're a father of how many boys? Oh, I got four boys. You got four boys, and you're living in Las Vegas, and you had when just... When I moved. Oh, you moved. It's, it's amazing, because I live in Pittsburgh. My son is that right? My his job. And what kind of work said, did you move for? My son said, I think your friend Dave Machette is on the radio in Pittsburgh. And so I said, I don't think so. He lives in, in Las Vegas. And uh, I listened to you the other day, and I said, sure enough, that's the Dave. Wow, the and, Ed, what a and, thrill. I'm so glad. So you're living in Pittsburgh now. How, how are you finding the city so far? Well, it's all right. These people here are kind of weird, but I'm trying hmm. to get used to it. We just got us a new apartment. And I'm trying to find me a girl I can maybe, you know, go out with or something later on or something. Now, if I'm not mistaken, now you were dating a, a much younger woman, right? Now, now you you have uh, you have four grown boys. One's a cop. I just uh, remind me and everybody who's listening to your story. So now you have you have one son who's a policeman. One one's yeah. in jail or has had legal entanglements well, at least. Well, he ain't in jail now. That's silly. He's been out for a long time. You always be saying he's in jail. I'm sorry. He's been out of jail for a long time. He lives with me now here in Pittsburgh because he got a job and they transfer. He does telemarketing type of thing. Oh and yeah, right. He he's a supervisor at his job and they said, look, Ricky. You gonna to move to to uh, Pit, well, Pittsburgh? And he said, I ain't never been to Pittsburgh. And they said, Well, we gonna move you there. He said, Well, if I gotta go, I gotta go. And that's what happened. We loaded up the truck and we went. Great. But now, did you leave behind a sweetheart in Vegas? I remember you were having some uh, relationship relationship problems with her. You know, probably the last time we spoke. Well, I had a girlfriend before, but she she kind of tried to take me for my money. And I said, look, I said, if, if I got a lot of money, then I'm going to spend it. But if I ain't got no money, I can't spend it. And all she wanted to do was spend it. So that's all we did is spend the money. Well, she has and some trouble, though. Be do. Well, you might, you're, you're a step up, though, for her, because if I remember her last boyfriend, the, re the way you came to be together was her last boyfriend got shot, right? Well, yeah, he got shot. And so she wasn't with him no more. He but not by you or fella. anybody, right? No, he no wasn't. I, I don't. You know what? I would never fire no gun at nobody. No. But uh, you know, and I and I just think this this town right here is dangerous, Pittsburgh. Oh, I've it is. You're not minding it. Everywhere, everywhere, I see people wearing black and yellow. Well, All sure, yeah. I mean, that's everybody. Everybody here, you know. I, I'm sure you've picked up. Everybody in Pittsburgh loves their local teams. You know. I mean, well, are you, you know what's silly? The baseball team and the hockey team and the football team got the dang same colors. Right. That's cool, though, isn't it? That's nice. It's everybody. No, it shows no, unity. No. You know, it's it's just the craziest town I've ever seen. And you need somebody. I heard you need an expert on the Steelers. That's exactly right. I need well, somebody who I can... Cause... I could be objective to you about this situation because, see, you know, a couple of years ago, I think the Steelers, they won, won the big Super Bowl game. Correct. But last year, they was awful. Their team, you wouldn't believe the things that they did. You know, they they talking about the defense was called the Steel Curtain. Mm hmm You remember that? I do. Of course I do. Well, last year, it wasn't nothing but a shower curtain. Oh. They was just running right through that team. And you well, got the Ed, you're not going to make any friends in the city of Pittsburgh if you're going to well, badmouth the Steelers all the time. Well, you know, it's it's true. It's true. These people, I don't think no one's going to come to the games this year because the team was so bad. I don't know how they're going to sell all these tickets. No, nah, they're I listen. Really they're don't. sold out. People are going to go out to see them play. No, I don't think they're going to have to lower the prices. I think well, they may I, have I mean, to lower those ticket prices because this kid Benwisberger, he he's just rotten. He's just—he's he, not well, a no, good it's, quarterback. It's Roethlisberger. I called him, him Rottenberger. 
Well, that's not not. I mean, he won the Super Bowl. Just uh, you know, he had some trouble last season with he'll, the motorcycle. He'll never win again. He's not a winner. What I I was looking at. Well, but he won a Super Bowl. What do you mean he's not a winner? No, he's not no more. You always bringing up stuff that happened a long time ago. We it was two. It was it was that. two we seasons ago. Now and now he's not going to be able to win because they don't have a good running back. The kid, the the Willie. Yeah, Willie they? Park, fast Willie Parker. I mean, he is no. good. He had a great season last. Had a, for the most part, had a pretty good year last year. He's pretty soft to me. That's one of the reasons he, he gets hit and falls right down. He can't get more than two yards of carry every single time. Well, that's not true, the you know? I mean, he breaks off the big ones. He's a, he's, you know, he's a Listen, home run hitter. You, I know you like Pittsburgh and you are a Pirates fan and all that, but the Steelers are not going to be able to. They got a tough schedule. I mean, have you looked at the schedule they got? Yeah, I have looked at it. And, I mean, I think they certainly start the season in a favorable with a favorable. They start at the Browns and they that's come a home. Loss. 